got about the little Tintin stuff in Brussels. So I had a little bit of a disaster today, I'm not going to lie. Um, I was travelling from Ghent to Brussels to go home and I thought I'll explore Brussels because I had about four hours between my Eurostar and not. So what happened was I got on the train, so it turned out I was going to Bruges, not to Brussels Midi, which is what I needed. So I went half an hour of my way, then I missed the train back by 30 seconds, then I had to wait another half an hour for that train, and so then it took me another hour altogether after that. So I lost two hours basically, long story short. This definitely beats waiting at the station for two hours. This is so dramatic. It's quite something else when you walk through here. Even though I've been here before, I don't think anything could prepare you from that walk right over to it. So I was going to explore with you guys today, but I haven't got time now because I'm going back to London in a couple of hours. So I thought, why don't I just take you guys here instead to Grand Place at least not quite the vlog I had planned. I will come back here, probably with Tig, and do something kind of a travel-y theme related. But I need to put my bag down somewhere because this is ruining my mojo. <laughs> Just put that there for a second. This is, this is so cool. So I'm here in Grand Place. It is absolutely amazing. I've been here before in 2013, but Nothing could pay for it, even though, when I, even though I've been here already, it still surprises you, you still think, oh my God, because it's just so dramatic, this beautiful square with all these amazing buildings and everything. It is so cool, definitely a fan of it. And I'm glad I came, even if it's just a flying visit to catch up with you guys. I thought we'd just catch up a little bit and I'll tell you a little bit what I've been up to since we last spoke. And these vibes, come on, you can't beat this. It's better than waiting at a smelly old train station. So this week I've kind of, I heard back from the company regarding the job. They said they'll let me know. You know, it could be famous last words. Apparently they're saying that the application process isn't over yet. So that's that. Oh guys, come on, this is just too much, isn't it? Look at this. How cool is this, guys? It's been a bit of a strange week for me. Not really a strange week, but I'm a little bit frustrated with myself with my lack of progress. <laughs> One of those sort of things I think, I'm kind of thinking, am I really still here? Almost, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like I've not grown as much as I would have liked to, but I know that's just, just me being negative, I think. Because life is one continuation of things isn't it as tacky as it sounds life is a journey not a destination and I have to remind myself that I can be very impatient with myself about not achieving what I want to achieve and yada 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 I had a real funny experience in in Ghent I did really enjoy it but there was water I couldn't get bottled water anywhere what was the deal there I mean, it was just so weird. I've never known that in anywhere. So an update regarding my therapist, I'm actually gonna be seeing my old therapist and we start our sessions, our first session on the 2nd of October. So I'm looking forward to that. It's gonna be a bit weird. Um, Cause it's been such a long time. I think I last saw him in 2018. So we will see. I think that's part of the reason I felt a bit like frustrated with myself because I thought I was going back then about the similar problem and we only got to scratch the surface of it but part of me is thinking, oh my God, are you ever gonna figure out why you don't think you're enough and why you don't love yourself and all this other stuff. So that I found a little bit hard that all that time has elapsed and not a huge amount has changed. But then if I think logically about it, things have changed. I need to not be so critical of myself because it's not gonna get me anywhere by being critical, is it? What do you think, guys? It is pretty, isn't it? Let's be honest. I know I'm not really leaving this square, it's more because I don't have time. But there's one thing I saw down this road and Tig will recognize it from when we were here last time. And it's this little Tintin thing that I remember seeing when I was in 
in my 20s, so I need to find it again. There it is. That's so weird. It's weird when you go back to a place and it's been ages since you were here. It's like I can remember it, but also I can't remember it at the same time. And I always find going back to a place when you've grown up a lot since, you remember all these aspirations and hopes and dreams you had for yourself. And it just makes you kind of, or makes me anyway, reflect a lot and think, this isn't where I thought I'd be by now. But equally, does life take any of us in a direction that we think it's going to? Probably not. It's just a random building. There's no significance to it whatsoever other than it's got tin tin on it. But I remember being here with Tiggs, so I thought, let's just go back. Do you remember this, Tig? And if any of you guys have been subscribed that long, do you guys remember this little bit of wall? I have to say, the traffic around um, this area is quite congested, actually. When you're going on the, in the car here, there's a lot of stopping and starting. I've got to figure out how I get back to the station as well now. See, how can you make healthy choices when there's so much chocolate? <laughs> the smell of waffles and everything is insane. But here is the statue de piss, however you say it. Now apparently, that mannequin, that peeing statue, the reason it's, there's a few, there's a reason there's a few of them in Belgium is because, oh my God, comes a fire brigade. Yeah, the reason why it's so prevalent in um, Belgium is because, and especially there's a few of them in Ghent as well, it's because they used to pay children for their wee. It was a way that kids used to make money by peeing. So, but I don't remember exactly why. I think the ammonia in the pee was quite valuable for some reason. <laughs> anyway, it's so, so good. There's chocolate, there's waffles. How am I supposed to be good with those chocolate? There's waffles. <sighs> to be honest, I never mind too much if I have stuff like that when I'm away because you know, I'm travelling. I've got to see another ch artisan chocolate here. Good Lord, a goal without a plan is just a dream, as they say. I've got to figure out how to get back to the station because I haven't got a clue. Because I've got a taxi here, but that took 10 minutes and I think public transport was about half an hour. So I'm going to have to see if I can get the metro or something here. Anyway, but how are you guys doing? I hope you're being kinder to yourself than I am. I mean, I'm not being horrible to myself by any stretch of the imagination, but I am kind of looking at myself a bit like, oh, you again, <laughs> you know, that kind of feeling. But the good thing about traveling is you keep your step count going. My God, there's so many steps. Got blisters and everything. No time for eating, but at least you guys got to see some of the grand place. So it looks like it's about 10 minutes to the metro station. And from there, if I can get the right one, It'll be another 12 minutes on the train. Then I've got to find my Eurostar. And then, well, all oh, this food, man, I'm so hungry. Oh, Smurfs, look. Seems to have a lot of Smurf stuff in uh, Brussels. A lot of Tintin stuff. If anyone's from here and knows why, was it created here or something? I'm so hungry. Literally, the last thing I ate was last night at about 5 p.m. And I am so hungry and the smells are just of those food. The food, oh my God, it's making me so hungry. It's like every sweet thing you could want. Apparently, Brussels is very good for fries. Next time I come here, I will have a big, big feed. Get lots of tasty things. Looks like some of these places have some serious queues. Look, for example, look, those fries, guys. There's a massive line to get to those fries. I bet they're good. But I'm not having any because I've got time. 
but I would love some. The pigeons keep kind of going towards me for some bizarre reason. Very weird. Look at all that art and stuff, that's cool. I like artists and stuff like that. But you never know waffles until you go to Brussels because they are everywhere. So I just made it. Slightly healthier choice. It's like mozzarella and tomato. There it is. It's pretty tasty. It's got like carrots, mozzarella, basil, tomato. Mm. So I'll see you guys later. Let's sit back and enjoy the train. Chers passagers, bonjour et bienvenue à bord de cette Eurostar à destination de Londres-Saint-Pancras. Je suis Gabriel, en voiture 8 et 9, situé en milieu.